Okay, today I am reviewing the 1969 James Bond movie, Honor of Majesty's Secret Service. Okay, uh, this is the one and only James Bond movie that has George Lazenby as James Bond. Unfortunately, George Lazenby did not return. I'll talk about that after the plot, but first we'll get down to the cast. George Lazenby is James Bond. Josephine is an Australian actor, he's still alive. All the fancy jazz. James Bond. Diana Rigg is Tracy, otherwise known as Teresa Di Vincenzo, or something like that. I'm not Italian, so I don't speak Italian. However, I saw Diana Rigg in uh, The Great Muppet Caper, that's it. Uh, that was a good movie, I might do that later someday. Tillis Valles is Blofeld, and i uh, seen Tillis Valles in. Um, the first Muppet movie, and... <coughs> and the Twilight Zone. <coughs> really? <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, uh, huh. So that's most of the cast, the main people. At least, or those are the people I know. Um, besides Bernard Lee and, uh, Lewis Maxwell and... Desmond Lillian. But basically, the plot, James Bond is driving on along the coast in his Aston Martin 1969 model DBS. Um, he's, you know, he's doing his normal stuff there. A woman in her red cougar, I do believe. Uh, I do believe it's a cougar. Anyhow. In her car, drives up alongside him and passes in front of him. He follows this woman to the beach where he sees this woman about to commit suicide. He drives down the beach in his car and he saves that woman. He introduces himself as Bond. James Bond. And he is attacked by three to four men who he beats up and the lady steals his car, drives back into her car, and drives off into the sunset. James Bond looks at the camera and says, this never happened to the other fellow. Title credits hit. Title credits song is an instrumental theme, otherwise known as On Her Majesty Secret Service theme. At a casino, James Bond sees the same red car that he saw before. He asks the bellboy, who does this car belong to? It belongs to Miss Vincenzo di... Miss Teresa de Vincenzo. He turns to casino, he pays off her debt to the casino, and they meet up in his room, or her room, but before that, James Bond is attacked in someone's room, either his room or her room, by a thug, and he beats up the thug, he thinks he kills the thug, but he does not kill the thug, okay, you know, they hit the bed, the next morning she's gone, James Bond is kidnapped, and he meets Tracy's father, Tracy's father offers him one million dollars if he will marry, when he marries his daughter. James Bond refuses. However, he says that he will continue to see the daughter because he likes his daughter. And he asks for information regarding Blofeld. A montage passes where James Bond and Teresa court each other and a Louis Armstrong song we have all the time in the world plays. And then at, at uh, her father, who is Draco, at Draco's father, at Draco's birthday party. Tracy finds out that Draco is giving James Bond information against about Blofeld, and she thinks that James Bond doesn't really like her. However, he confesses to her that he loves her. So, bo uh, Bond. Um, sorry. M sends James Bond on a mission to Piz Galora, which is where Blofeld is making some kind of allergy... allergy, uh, thing. What's gonna do with allergies? And he's doing just allergy research in the Swiss Alps. He is doing that uh, research in the Swiss Alps. James Bond is posing as some guy from the London College of Arms or something, and he wants to give Blofeld a title. But first, he must prove that Blofeld is the rightful heir to that title. Um, it is revealed that James Bond is actually James Bond and not who he pretends to be. Blofeld locks him in a room, she doesn't want to escape, skis down the mountain, and meets up with Tracy at a ski resort town. Tracy found out that James Bond was there through her father, 
They drive off in her car to arrive at a barn where James Bond proposes to her. She accepts. James Bond doesn't have a ring, so I don't know why she would accept. Um, in the morning, they ski down the slope where both have triggers an avalanche, which uh, causes Tracy and Bond to fall over. Bluefield kidnaps Tracy, and James Bond goes off to London. M refuses to launch an attack against Bluefield for, I don't know, so it goes to Draco, who says that he will do it, and they set charges to destroy all Bluefield's research. Um, during a gunfight, James Bond chases Bluefield down the hill in a bobsled, and at the right moment, James Bond jumps onto Bluefield's bobsled, and then throws Bluefield up into the sky where he is caught between a branch and is has his neck broken. Or so we thought. Um, or so we thought, right? Yeah. James Bond and Tracy get married. Gosh. <laughs> no. I can't help. No. You can't do it. No. They drive off. And James Bond stops the car on a cliff to take off the flowers that his Aston Martin was decorated with. <laughs> a bluebell drives by. <laughs> and he shoots Tracy and James Bond. <laughs> Tracy's killed with a bullet to her head. James Bond warns the loss. The title credits say that diamonds are forever is the next movie. And the movie ends. <laughs> it couldn't end that way, could it? No, it couldn't end that way. No. God. Really? It had to end that way, did it? God damn you, George Lazenby! God damn you to hell! You just had to end that movie with her dying, didn't you? You just had to quit, didn't you? You goddamn piece of Australian piece of crap. I apologize, Australia. I do apologize. God, I love Honor Magic Secret Service. It's the best James Bond movie out of all of them. It's my favorite. It has to be the best if it's my favorite, because my word is unspoken authority. No, it is the best James Bond movie in my opinion. The acting was perfect. Settings were perfect. Everything was perfect in this movie. The swan song of James Bond. Um, that's how I see it. I don't know if that's a uh, an advertisement type uh, advertisement deal. It might be. It may not. But it's my opinion. It's the swan song of James Bond. Um, George Lazenby was an amazing James Bond actor, and he is he was an amazing actor. But it's just a shame that he did not stay on to be James Bond longer. <coughs> he was 29 when he made On Majesty's Secret Service. Um, perhaps 30 when it was released. He was 30 when it was released. He was 29 when they filmed it, but he was 30 when it was released. His birthday is September 5th, 1939. Um, I'm not a stalker, just like James Trishel has I have Zodograph. Um, I'll show you that one day. But he was an amazing James Bond actor, and he should have stayed on longer for just one more movie, Diamonds Are Forever. He could have just done Diamonds Are Forever, and I would have been happy. Okay? He should have done more than one movie. Um, in fact, if my estimates are correct, if he hadn't left in 1969 when he did, he could have been James Bond until the early, until like the early nineties, the late eighties, early nineties. He could have been in every single James Bond movie that Roger Moore and Timothy Dalton did, and he would have been fucking amazing at it. He would have been the best James Bond actor there ever was, the longest reigning James Bond actor, the most films made by James Bond actor, the most James Bond films by, made by a James Bond actor. And he would have been freaking amazing. Sure, he would have aged a bit, but Roger Moore was 
45, 44, 45 when he was James Bond. And he stayed out until he was almost 60. It's 15 fucking years, George Brony. George Lassenby, 30. At 20 years, 50. Not 60, 50. Timothy Dalton was, um, 45... Was 44 when he was James Bond? 40 something? I don't know. His birthday was like 1945, 44, 46, 47. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell how old he actually is. <coughs> um, well, I'm getting off track. James Bond could have been James Bond. George has to be could have been James Bond for as long as he wanted. Um, he could have even been into the 90s if he wanted to. I mean,. I don't know what he looked like in the 90s, but he, he probably would have looked okay. Um, so, on our Reggie's Secret Service is an amazing movie. Whether it's James Bond or not, if it wasn't James Bond, it would still be an amazing movie. <coughs> and if you've not seen it already, if you have not seen it, you need to see it. If you have seen it already, I suggest you watch it again. There are things in movies that I've noticed... On my fifth time watching it, if not more, they're just tiny little details that you don't see at first. But eventually, you'll see them. The story may not make sense to you at first, but it will the second time. That's the way it is in all movies. Maybe it's because I don't watch movies very loud that I don't notice these things, but I notice them eventually over time. I'll notice them. So, that is my movie review of On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Please leave a like, um, and in the comment section, please tell me what you thought of this, and any suggestions for any future movie reviews. Uh huh. And if you have not already done so already, <coughs> please subscribe to my channel. It's the red button that says subscribe on it, next to my channel name. You know. <coughs> and I'll. Um, See you in whatever video I choose to make next. Ciao. Au revoir. Ciao, ciao. Aloha. Something else. Au revoir. Whatever. Bye.